a nice warm welcome to the one, the only, Mr. Larry Hong. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You ask 10 different chefs how to make pasta, and they'll give you 10 different answers. Well, I'm here today to give you my answer. Welcome to Cooking with Larry. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're making pasta. Woo! All right. Pasta is like a lady getting ready for the ball. Okay, first let's get into the batch. Well, make sure your water is boiling hot and uh, so that pasta doesn't stick. And also you have to season it well, like the saltiness of seawater, because that's where the flavor gets infused in. Now, I pre-boiled some pasta to save some time. Just gonna add some in there. All right. And give it a little stir so it doesn't, doesn't stick. Now the lady's in the bath. We've got to prepare her dress, which is the sauce. Now my pan's been preheated, but not too hot, otherwise your sauce will burn. So I'm going to put some butter in there. Just make sure you cut, cut it. <laughs> now just let it melt a little bit. See how it's not burning? So I have it on low heat. And I say what makes a great pasta is, in fact, the pasta water itself. Because you cook your pasta in there, and it, the starches get infused into the water. So I'm just going to add some into the sauce. A little bit more. There you go. And see how it melts together? And you also have the flavoring from the salt. So that works out well. You don't have to put any more extra salt on this. I'm just going to let this mellow out. I'm going to check out how my lady's doing in the bath. Now, the Italians have a phrase called al dente, which means translated to English, to the teeth. And what that means is when you bite into it, there's a certain resistance to it. And that's the best way to check if your pasta is ready to, to eat it. I mean, that's ready. So, let's put a lady and fit her into her dress. Alright, turn up the heat a little bit. And give it a toss. Now, some people say that tossing is like showboating. But in fact, I'm working the pasta, the starches, reducing the sauce, and making that dress look tight on her. Okay, a little pepper for sass. Now she's ready to go to the ball. Alright, when you're plating it, you want to make sure it's in the, in the center and make it tight. And high. Right there. And no lady's complete without her earrings and accessories, which is where the garnish comes in. Just put a little flourish in there. Now she looks good enough to eat, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, what did we learn today from cooking pasta to saucing to plating and garnishing? Take what you like and leave what you don't. I'm Larry Hum. Thank you for tuning in. Bon appetito. You know who you are for next. Uh, we'll up the floor to press. Anybody have questions, comments, concerns? Raise your hand and Larry will ask and answer. <laughs> Did you go to the forum? Yes. <laughs> what, is, what was your speciality? Oh, uh, I've actually, my, my life dream was to be a pasta cook, and I, I did that and it got boring, so I'm back here. Oh, <laughs> I have two forks. Just pass this down. I need both for me. Whoever wants me. No. You can feed yourself. She tastes so good. Any other questions, comments, concerns? All right, go into the Q&A. If someone in the audience asks you a question and you don't know the answer, again, you're not being graded on it. If you don't know, just simply say, I do not know. I did the very least amount of research for this project, and I don't know. So that's fine. Uh, anyone else? Yes. Questions? No. Right. Any questions? Yes. Do you know how to bake cake? Yes. It's cake. Yes, uh, I, I hated baking, but later on, I. Found a liking to baking cakes and any desserts. So I'm learning to learn. Yes. Are, are you doing like the desserts? No. Uh, I haven't actually cooked or wore this uniform in uh, like two years. Okay. So. Oh, okay. You, you 